I'm Phil Kafari, and this is my story. Oakland Hills, one of the most iconic clubs and most storied championship venues in, in golf in Michigan. I, I think about the 96 Steve Jones US Open was probably some of the first golf tournaments that I watched. So when the opportunity arose, you know, I was ready to, to take that take on the challenge. When I started to see old photographs of Oakland Hills, it, it was mesmerizing on what this golf course could truly be. I think it was Rob Dune, who's our championship director for the Junior Am. One of his first couple visits here, the question was, what do you want? And Rob's response was, let's give them the U.S. Open. And I would say uh, Phil and his team have certainly delivered on that end. From May to now, it's been like crazy busy with just focusing on the Junior Am. It's going to be a great test of golf for the you know, some of the best junior amateur golfers in the, in the world. With Phil's agronomic program, They've done an excellent job that we're really not losing much speed throughout the day. In 1998, I went to Oak Hill Country Club. Um, no golf course experience, intern from SUNY Delhi in, uh, in New York State. And uh, you know, I remember my professor saying I shouldn't go to Oak Hill because I didn't have any experience, but I've never shied away from the pressure. I've actually uh, probably uh, jumped in more pressure than most people do. I, I just have this belief that if you wanna be the best, you start at the best. You know, and it sets your fundamentals. When I decided to interview at Oakland Hills, the, the restoration hadn't been approved yet. Um, most people, that would be a turn off for them. It was actually a turn on for me because being part of something and getting it approved um, is part of the process. This is why I got out into the business to be on the biggest stage. Um, that's just who I am and my DNA and how I'm wired. I kind of had this roadmap that I wanted to do a bunch of different things in my career. You know, one was host a tournament. One was, you know, to work for a superintendent that had hosted a bunch of tournaments. You know, I wanted to do a grow in um, to see all, all different facets and which one I really kind of wanted to do. When you think about it, Oak Hill's always been the foundation and really Jeff Corcoran has always been the foundation. And uh, when you go through tough times, you lean on your biggest supporters. And, uh, you know, he's a huge supporter of mine and my family. So you have the golf course family and then you have uh, your real family. You know, and um, in our situation, they both kind of go together, you know? I don't know if I can do this. She's a major part of the story, right? I'm very, you know, I'm proud of my husband. I mean, he's this great guy. You come a long way from 20 some years ago. We're best friends. And I think working with your best friend is incredible. We went to the same high school. I go to college. He goes to college, but we came back and we had an awesome bar in, the, down in our little town of Victor. He got the job at Philadelphia and my dad said, uh, you need to give him three months to live on his own, to realize how it is to live on his own, and then you can move down. If my daughter moves to Philadelphia, you got to take care of my daughter. I, I think how far we've come, but you know, she's probably just as hard of a worker as I am, if not harder, because she's maintaining the two boys at home and doing all that stuff. She's really the MVP. 10 year old Jordan, just like my husband. So I have two of them. And then I have my 14 year old Cash. Why I bring them here is to show them what he does because it's such a beautiful thing. They're seeing this and what I love what they're seeing because we want to instill in them is hard work. And I want them to see how to succeed. And that's how you succeed is to work hard. One thing, Adam, is that I've always done is include people in what I do. You know, whether it's my mom and dad or Jen's mom and dad or the kids, there's nothing greater to have them come out and walk the golf course. They love being around it. They love being around me too. Jordan comes with me this year since I'm working here. He'll go out with like Jack Judge or Wally and he loves raking bunkers, loves it. You gotta live, eat and breathe it 24 seven. It can be a tough business, but it can be a lot less tougher if you're including a lot of people around you and they support you. For Phil, it's a passion. Like how many guys get to say they go to work or anyone and love what they do? I really don't think you can get up at 3.30 or 2.30 in the morning and not love what you do. It's the, you know, this is more a passion for him than a job. I'm passionate about being the best and I want the best for my people. This is not a job. It's not a job for me. It's not a job for John Zimmers. It's not a job for Jeff Corcoran. It's not a job for Rich McIntosh. We love golf and we love what we do.
to get people to believe, the members to believe, you know, the USGA to believe, the employees to believe, you know, it had lost its luster and I wanted to bring that back. This is, you know, the first of many championships that are going to be coming back here. Phil and his team have been fantastic as well as everybody else at Oakland Hills. This place is a cathedral and it's time to put it back on the map and get it back where it's positioned on the Mount Rushmore of major championship golf.